Hello, I'm Zeke Solo. Welcome to Sample Saturday number 11. Today's sample was sent to me by Pete Hendricks from Hendricks Classics & Co. Thank you very much, Pete. This is the one called Badass. And if you give it a sniff, I get oak moss, I get cedar wood, and then right above it I get some citrus. And that's about what I get. But that's a great, a great scent. It's a very masculine scent. And on his homepage, I just checked, it says people have referred to this scent as it smells like a man. It's very masculine. And I, I agree on that. The racer for today is this fantastic AC SE racer. It's the Alpha Shaving Claymore Evolution. Look at this stunning handle. Look at that. I don't know if you see it. Has the waist that I love. Stainless steel, 111 grams. In it I have my favorite AC blade so far called uh, the Feather Professional. So, and it's on its fourth use, I believe. So, look at the waist. Man, wonderful balance. Very easy to grip. The knurling is, well, I'm lost for words. The soap, the handle, sorry, Alpha Shaving Outlaw. When we're using the badass soap, we have to use the Outlaw aluminium um, matte handle. With the synthetic fan knot. I don't know if you see it, you don't. I have whipped up a leather here in my Hendrix Classics & Co. ball that was also sent to me very kindly from Pete Hendrix from HCNC. So thank you very much. The coffee for today is Colombian without sugar. Why is that important? I don't know. I don't think it is. 3.5% uh, full fat milk, it's called. And it's, and that has enriched it for the semi latte milk I've been using. Just gives it color. Okay. So let's see. Look at this leather. I don't know if you see the shine on this. I'm, <laughs> I'm looking. I'm looking into the mirror and not into the camera because quite frankly I cannot see the camera with the strong lights in my eyes. So I don't know if this comes off transparent, but I tell you it isn't. Lovely, lovely scent. Cedar wood and oak moss and then with the citrus underneath it all, you know. Oh, man. Who doesn't like a woodsy, oak mossy, citrusy scent. Man. Wow. Pete. This is a wonderful scent. This is not a tallow based soap, although it's not quite what you would call vegan. It has Tulsa silk and goat's milk. So it's it's not a tallow soap, tallow based soap, but yet again. It's not vegan or vegetal, so it's somewhere, well, in between. Alpha shaving, Claymore, Evolution. Let's give it a go. I forgot to tell you, this is a three piece. It loads like the Reservoir Cork or a normal three piece. You know, you screw the handle off and then the top cap and the base plate comes apart and then you put the blade in. I have a sit here, so I need to either attack it very hard to get rid of it or be very careful. So this is such a nice balanced razor. If you compare it to, let's say, the the vector, because the vector has that 
to me a little funny, funny balance with the head and the small skinny handle so it's not as hit heavy as the raster because the raster has some weight to the head too This is wonderful. I've been having an ingrown hair down here for more than a week. I've been able to, well not a week, five days and that's what you get when you use such sharp tools, isn't it? Lots of snow. couple of meters during the last week so if you're wondering what do we do well we had a lot of winds too wind too so we sent a lot of the snow onwards to Canada I'm sorry Justin, if you're watching. Came from us with love, of course. Uh, this is the balance on this, the angle on this. Man, this is just a great reason. Steve, you got it just, just right. Let me have a feel here. I actually got this razor in September and I haven't gotten around to using it. And then when I knew that I was going to get this handle, I kept it. Handle of course coming all the way, and the razor, all the way from Alpha Shaving in Singapore. Took a very long time to get here. so. But I've used the razor a couple of times. I've never gotten a bad shave from it. And I've been using the Feather Professional blade in it right from the get-go. When I ordered it from Alpha Shaving site, I was on a pre-list, I think. I got the bullet stand. I got 20, or, yeah, I think, I think it's 20 Feather blades professional uh, a nice um, packaging bamboo pa packaging and a brush holder so that I forgot to bring in here I'm sorry but really value for money so second pass against the growth with the alpha Claymore evolution and I would say this is in my top three of ACSE races. Artist Club, Artist Club, Single Edge. Oh, that's the wrong way. Sorry. So. On first place so far is the Enoch from Occam's. On a tight first place, on a shared gold medalist place with the Rasta version 3. And then this very close behind them. I really like this racer too. Oh. $150 for this. Uh, and then you get the great stand, the bullet stand, 
and the plates with it. So if you do the math, it's actually kind of in the same price group as the Enoch. It's very easy. To load the blade, the tabs, the base plate are tall, and the holes in the top cap are big too, so there you really cannot misalign this. You either have the top cap on or you don't. And the blade is just so. And for that reason alone, some people might prefer this over the rest because you need to fiddle a little with the blade sometimes. So, Enoch, you don't. So, let's have a feel. Oh, overly confident. Yeah. You know how it is. You can't get closer than. Blood. So that's how it is. A half pick up pass, and I will say this soap that was very kindly sent to me from Hendrix Classics and Co. as has a great slickness, easy to lather. I didn't use more than the quarter teaspoon I usually do, and I got enough lather for well three faces so but that's I usually do way too much leather I would rather have way too much than way too little okay I don't know if you hear this This, of course, being an AC blade, means that you cover much more area of real estate, I think uh, IMCDB calls it. So, in effect, you shave. You should be faster. I don't know if I am. So, but this is a wonderful scented soap. There's no oil, there's no leather, there's no, you know, juniper to be aware of. So it's a badass, no patchouli either. So it's, it's a badass soap in the good way of the word. Okay, Captain is in. Get ready for his announcement. Okay, Kidogi. This is your captain speaking. Please be seated, fasten your seatbelt, and wash your face with the warm face cloth. Ugh. What's better than this? Well, it's hard to say. I love the process, of, pro, the process of getting it ready. I love the process of actually shaving and I love this. So, see, a little weavers there. It doesn't itch, it doesn't burn, it doesn't anything. But let's just apply this. For all the faint of heart that cannot stand a little blood. So, no burn. A little here, but that's due to lack of moisture, I think. Okay. So, let me just dab. Tap my face with a cloth with cold water in it. 
I used to do that all the time, but now I stopped. I get plenty of cold here in Greenland. So this is not icy cold water. It's just, you know, a little below room temperature. And that's perfectly fine for me. Okay. So what would a real badass Outlander use for an aftershave? Well, in my book, Stetson. You know, that's what a real cowboy badass outlaw would use. So, I have it in the spray bottle. Love this scent. The Stetson. Oh, wonderful scent. Has that uh, cedar wood, you know, backbone to it. You might call it back note. That's nice. And the cream for today is the Noxima. It just works. Five dollars for this. That's a hard to beat price. And it just works. So, took way too much. It has a little sweetness in it. Like the cedar wood does. It's kind of a sweet wood to my nose. Don't, don't eat me if you disagree. That's just how I feel. Okay. As usual, way too much moisturizing cream or aftershave balm. So, let's run this up. The Evolution, Claymore, Stainless Steel, 111 grams. The Badass Soap Sample from Pete Hendricks. Thank you, Pete. The brush was the Alpha Shaving Outlaw Aluminium with their fan synthetic knot in it. Super, super soft. It must be, I think it's one of the softest I've ever tried. And then the HCNC uh, black stainless steel ball. As an aftershave, the Stetson, and as the aftershave arm, um, the Noxima. That's it. Like, subscribe. Hit the bell and share. And you know why we do this? Because we are not obsessed, we are dedicated. Have a wonderful weekend. Sig Solo, out.